welcome back to another episode and in today's episode we are doing something a little bit different so it's going to be how to catch squid i get so many questions from people all week saying what's the best ways to catch squid best times all of that stuff so in this video i'm going to run through everything that you should know to catch more squid more often and how to make the most of your trips when you have to travel two hours to get to a jetty i hope you guys learned a lot make sure to subscribe if you like this kind of content and i'll see you in the video Phew. so the first thing i'll always look at before actually going to the location is the tides so for squid they're most active during the outgoing and the ingoing tides so big tide movements is always the best way to go so if you can see uh, that shows the tide so at the moment it is just about to hit dead low so once it starts to start rising that is when the squid should be most active that is definitely when you want to be fishing and second thing i'll only look at so the tide and then the wind if the wind is blowing more than 20 k's per hour which is about 10 knots it's probably going to be a bit too windy to cast out 3.0 jigs and all of that so i try to you know go somewhere sheltered that isn't affected by the wind too much but on a day like this about 13 kilometers the wind is perfect and that is the ideal conditions if you want to be casting out little jig. Another important thing to look about the wind is see which way it will be blowing. So on the apps you can actually see which way the wind direction will be going. So today it's going actually towards the seaweed bed. So on the other side which is very very ideal. Because if the wind was blowing that other way it would be very hard to cast into the seaweed bed. Which is where the squid will be sitting which we'll get into after. But yeah that's another important thing. Make sure the wind direction is going to favour you and you don't have to cast into the wind because it just causes a whole lot of trouble. So when I actually get here I look for the most perfect spot that I think that squid will be sitting. So I'm not sure how well you can see these aren't polarised at all these lens but you want to be casting in between seaweed beds. So often sit in between the seaweed beds that is when they wait for the little bait fish to come by and when they attack. So if you can cast in between them, work the jig off the bottom in between those seaweed beds, that is probably your best chance of finding where the squid are. And if you guys haven't got polarized sunnies, that is something I would recommend investing in because this is without and that is with. It makes such a difference as you can see. You can really see where those weed beds are sitting and it makes a whole lot of difference. Phew. All right, the question I get probably the most is what rod is this? So this isn't actually a squid edgy specific rod. So it is a Veritas 7.2 1 to 3 kilo Abu Garcia. Probably one of the best rods I've ever purchased. It wasn't that expensive, but it does a bit of everything. So I don't use it specifically to target squid, but it's long enough because it's 7 foot 2 and it gets the job done. I really love it and that's why I haven't really upgraded to a proper edgy rod yet, but I reckon down the track we probably will. But for now, that is the rod we're using. And then paired with the rod is the 2500 Daiwa Tierra reel. It is actually very, very good. It's gonna cop an upgrade soon, but for now it does the trick and it's actually a very, very good reel for value. So that's the combo. I absolutely love it. It's caught some wicked things in the past, so can't complain. But yeah, if you guys wanted to know, that's what I use. When I actually go squidding, I bring all my squid jigs. So there's basically every color under the sun in here from white and black to orange to redheads to actual reds to glows to pinks and then the two and then my absolute favorite jig which is the custom made blue tiger which you can actually buy off my online store it's not in stock at the moment but it will be very shortly so if you want to pre-order one of these head to the website send me an email but this has been my favorite jig for so long now it's, it's actually cleaned up if you're an og fan you would have seen the recent videos and this jig has been tearing up you can just see all the ink marks on it so another tip as well, for an overcast day, you'll be wanting to use something about the red or even a redhead, something that glows. And then for really clear days, you want to use natural colors. So something like this, a little bait fish like that. And yeah, anything that can really image an actual bait fish. So dark days, dark jigs, clear water, natural and clear jigs, and throw some glows in there and overcast as well, always helps. But yeah, that's usually what I go by and it seems to work well. All right, so as I was talking about wind, the wind direction has actually changed. So now it's blowing towards me. So what I've done is put a three and a half jig on and I'm gonna try and cast into the wind and see how far we can get it. But that's how quickly the conditions can change. All right, so this is how I will work my squid jig. So I'll get it out. 
as far as I can. So basically, you just want to let it sink all the way down to the bottom. So we're fishing in about four to five meters of water here. So give it about 10 seconds. And then I'll go one, two, three, with the drag nice and loose. And that will hop the jig up and over the bottom. And if a squid is around, it will see that jig and get its attention. One, two, three. And then just let it sink down again. And that is really all there is to it. So another good tip. So when you're not in control of the jig and you just have slack line, leave a little bow in the line like I have there. And if a squid takes it, you'll see the line just go straight like that. So that's another good tip. Always leave a bow in your line so you can know exactly when a squid gets on your jig instead of having to keep going and seeing if you've actually got one on. Fortunately, soon after this, the wind picked up way too much. So I waited a couple of hours and headed down to another local jetty about 10 minutes on and then a really, really good session took place. Are you, are you on TikTok? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen you. Oh, really? Yeah, your YouTube videos. Oh, yeah? So, yeah, I'm at TikTok videos. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you... um, the one with the mayhem. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just no. spotted you. Got much? Yeah, got it. Oh, yeah, killer work. Yeah. Get the fucking dogs. Get the fucking dogs. Get the fucking dogs. Got some legends from the <laughs> YouTube channel. Wait, is that the Abu Garcia that's in your video? Yeah, yeah. This is the, this is the baby that does all the damage, mate. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, yeah, I started, like, scouting, like, um, South Australian fishing video. Alex, Alex is a good Alex one, fishing. yeah. You and the other guy who's like David Sheldon. It's actually not a not a bad one either. If he's got a follower, you chuck your jig in. See how because my drag's loose, when he wants to pulse back, he won't like pull the tentacle off because he'll just take the line instead. I don't think he's got a follower though. I might come down your way and lift him up, that's alright. It's a, it's a goodie. Here we go, big squid, Bryden, on the mixed jiggers, three and a half, white glow. To store these safely, all I do, chuck them in a Ziploc bag, and I'll keep them nice and safe, cold, keep them a bit more tender. There we go. Next cast, and we've already got onto another one. I think we've hit a good patch. So, yeah, I was just using that technique. Let it sink down to the bottom for eight seconds, and then give it a few flicks. Your tactics work, bro. Oh, yeah, you got one? See? Oh, <laughs> Putting it into action, there you just go. Yeah. Yeah. I'll help him. All right, I'll, get, I'll give you some line. Oh. Yeah, just lift them up by the line, be fine. Oh, well done, mate. Thank you. There you go. There's another goodie. There we go. Now, that is a true monster, Bryden. It's huge. We'll give this guy a measure. Get the brag mat out. If you guys want to cop one of these brag mats, hit up the brag mat bloke on Instagram and he'll make one for you. That is 31. Yeah. That's all right. This guy's got two squid on the same jig. Oh, you got two jigs on it. Oh. I thought you did the impossible. No. <laughs> I've done it before. Really? Yeah. Yeah, right. sure yeah nice job. Oh, another one. There we go, another nice one. And there we go, using that technique I explained before, just letting it hop down the bottom. We've got our second squid of the day. So to humanely put these guys out as well, all you want to do is chop them between the head and the hood there. And I'll completely put them out and humanely harvest them. Yep, got him. Ooh. That's a big squid. Far out, he's a big one. I think there were three of them. Cheers mate, legend. It's a good one. There we go, another decent squid off the white jig again, killing it. He's huge. <laughs> They've chucked him in the keeper bag, straight on the ice. Yep. Yeah. That's yeah, it's another good one. He took that on the drop. 
follower. Has he got a follower? I don't think so. Oh, oh, they're, they're all thick today. What's going on? Where the fuck's not? Come on. Let, just let it sit. He'll go for it. Yeah, that's it. I did the trick you do. You let well, it sink and then you go one, two. He's going to have to lift this one up by hand. Do you need me to cook it for you? Uh, you know, and then... I reckon I'll just grab the line. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's not a bad problem having to lift them up like this. <laughs> nah. Oh, you got them good. Yeah, he's hooked fine. Perfect. There we go. Another stonker. Number four. Oh, there you go. Number two. One of the legends from the YouTube family made hooked up. See we get it up. Oh, he's dropped him. That's right, chuck it back down. There's a big one. Was it? Usually when they ink, do they come back? No, or? they're not. Oh, I've had one ink before and it came back. But. It's not, it doesn't usually happen though. Nah. We've done to another, just a little pup. I'll go rough the honey. Let's yeah, see if he's got a, oh, he's got a... Is he a follower? Not sure. No, seaweed. He's got a question. Oh, that's a seaweed? Nah, that's, that's a squid. Oh yeah, little pup. Little puppy. There you go. What's that? You got my younger brother. Like, yeah, this guy. <laughs> Just a little one. Watch your mouth. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, he's on. Get it up. Oh, there you go. Nice. Yeah, that's good. There you go. Fan from the YouTube channel. Hello. Mate. Wait, Bloody wait, oath. what? And he's got one. Well done. Yeah, good mate. Yeah, good and mate. Two. Oh, he's got you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's got you. Oh, he's got you. Oh, you got, no, got you good. Oh. oh, it happens. Oh, yep. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna cast right. Oh, it's going nuts. Oh, yeah? Jeez, Mate, it's it? making a mess. Jeez, isn't it? There you go. Oh, oh. Oh. Got me that time. <laughs> the end of the session and ended up with seven myself. Austin here, one of the fans from YouTube channel, also got 11. 11. And then a few more legends here. Yeah, How many do you guys Johnson. get? Three. Oh, you think the outro? Yeah. Oh, you think the outro? Yeah, yeah. 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 Get, get it on. Get it on. Thanks for watching. And make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. You better subscribe, y'all. <laughs> and if you guys want to grab any sort of merch, so a t-shirt, a hat, or anything, even a squid jig if you want a free order one, make sure you head to the website in the link below. And a massive shout out to the fans of the YouTube channel who came and said hello. It was a good time having to fish with you blokes. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Phew.